MuseScore 4 now offers free instrumental plugins that you can use on the scores that you're creating within MuseScore. These plugins will greatly enhance the quality of the sounds during playback of the scores that you're creating. By the end of this video, you will be able to install these Muse sounds onto your computer and I will show you how to get started using them within MuseScore 4. So if you have already been using MuseScore 4, then you have what's called Muse Hub on your computer already. If you haven't downloaded MuseScore 4 yet, I'll show you how to download Muse Hub and then uh, where to find the Muse sounds within Muse Hub. First, you want to go to musescore.org and then you're going to click on the free download. Once you click on free download, you'll notice it will download musehub.exe onto your computer. What you want to do is then open that file and then follow the prompts uh, to install MuseHub onto your computer. Once you have MuseHub installed on your computer, you can find MuseHub by going to the bottom right hand side of your screen and pulling up your taskbar. And you'll notice that there's a little icon here for MuseHub and I can just click on that and that will bring up MuseHub. The other way you can pull up MuseHub is to go to the left hand side of your screen if you're working on a PC and then go to your programs and then scroll down to where you find MuseHub and click on it that way. So those are two ways that you can access MuseHub on your computer. And you'll notice they have these different screens here. So if I click on Home, I have Apps, Featured, and so on. This is where you also can download software like Audacity and StaffPad. So Muse Sounds are on the bottom here. You can also find Muse Sounds right here where you click on Sounds. When I click on Sounds, I have different sounds that I can now download onto my computer and I can use within MuseScore. So they offer Choir, brass, guitars, percussion, woodwinds, harp, and keys, as well as strings. If you've already been using MuseScore 4, you might have noticed that you want to increase the quality of the sounds that you have during playback. This is how you do it. If you see a little check mark here, that means that you've already downloaded them. Uh, most likely, if you haven't done this yet, you won't see any check marks yet. So I'm going to go ahead and download one of these that I don't have. So I don't have harp yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Get. When I click on that, you'll notice on the bottom right hand side, it's going to start saying downloading MuseHarp. Now these are large files, so you want to make sure that you have enough space on your hard drive to be able to handle the size of these files. And you'll also notice that depending on which ones you're downloading, it might take a while to download the files. Once it is complete, you'll notice there's a little check mark right next to it here. And now I have the MuseHarp instrument plugin on my computer, and I'm going to show you how to use that within MuseScore. So that's how easy it is to install the Muse sounds onto your computer to start using them. I'm going to open up MuseScore 4. So in order to access the improved Muse sounds within playback, what you're going to want to do is go up to View, and then you're going to click on Mixer. So the Mixer should pop up on the bottom part of your screen. And on the very bottom of the screen, you'll see the name of each part. So I have Piano, Harp, and Violin. I have a Metronome, as well as Master. At the top of that Mixer, you'll notice there are sounds here. And it's right now it's pulling from the MS Basic library. So what I want to do is click on that drop down arrow and go to Muse Sounds and then click on Muse Keys. And I'm going to click on Grand Piano. So that will change that from the MS Basic to Grand Piano. Let me show you the difference between what those sound like. So let's go back to the uh, sound fonts, MS Basic. So this is the original sound. And let's go ahead and just take a listen. So that's what the piano sounds like with the basic sound. And then if I go ahead and change that to the Muse keys and go to Grand Piano, now let's take a listen to what the improved sound, the Muse sound is. So you can hear the improved quality of that piano. I like that sound so much better than the original. So I also have that harp that I just selected. So you can see the harp is still pulling from the MS basic sounds. So again, I'm in the mixer. I click on the drop down arrow, Muse sounds, and then I go to Muse Harp and I'm gonna click on Harp. So once you see Harp selected there instead of MS Basic, that means now the Harp is also pulling from the better sound. So let's go ahead and listen to that. It's a beautiful Harp sound for uh, the music that you're creating. With the Muse sounds, I can tell a huge difference in quality uh, between the MS Basic sound with the Muse sounds for strings, uh, as well as choirs. Well, all of them sound really, really great. So one thing to keep in mind is that once you select these Muse sounds for playback, whenever you export any audio from your score, those sounds will be reflected in that recording. So keep that in mind whenever you're exporting your audio. I plan on making a video in the future showing a sound comparison between uh, the original sounds of MuseScore as well as with these Muse sounds so you can hear the difference between the two. So you now know how to install Muse sounds onto your computer and get started using them. If you made it this far into the video, you might also be interested in how to get the most out of MuseScore 4. I made a complete beginner's video showing you how to do this, and I'll put a link to that video here.